everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. It, um, we are going to take on a mission right away. I tried to pause the timeline before it reached here so we could start it, but, you know, it just kind of ran through. Apparently he does his own stunts is what we're doing. So it's an assassinate mission. Should be good. That one usually, the, the enemy usually has a half decent, uh, half decent, um, mech, um, and stuff. So it's like a three and a half skull mission. So it should be a good one. Gonna accept it, and we're gonna run with whatever we can field at this point. We're gonna be down one mech, and maybe more. No, nope. Sturm can take the Holopolis, and let's hope this is gonna be enough firepower. The vehicles have been doing a good job, so we should be fine, I think. Let's just deploy and get it done. Yeah, it's a, you say we might need more firepower, but we'll be fine. Command interface initiated. Well, he's out here somewhere. The PR guy trying to record the battle for the Lyran Commonwealth. It's like, yeah, we do such a great job on the front and blah 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 blah. So he's back there. Hmm. Yeah. We yeah, alright. Just gonna overwhelm them with firepower. A little three and a half skulls. This might be a hunchback here, it looks like. Ostrock, okay. Oof, what do we got here? Jaeger mech? Nice. Orion, nice. There's we can get some Orion pieces. Ostrock, and I have no idea what this guy's in. Alright, TF. Um Let's go Vulcan hunting. Did he move already? I think he did. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. I was gonna say we should go in the trees, but I think we'll be okay up here. I think we'll be okay. Nice. Dead tag on him. Aye, aye. Ah, we need to engage down here though. Moving out. Let's not get too much where they can see us, but a little bit so we can at least get some uh, shots on these guys. Engaging target. Nothing. All right. That was weird. I sound like there was explosions over here all of a sudden, but I guess Waiting not. On you, Commander. Uh, Griff, what do we want you to do? Same idea, though. We're going to move in down here. I think the Cephalus will stay up on top, but I think, I think the rest of the, everybody else would come down here, I think. Combat shotgun on. We want to try to go all out in this guy? He's going on 13. Hmm, no. Okay, a little bit of damage. We don't have the best chance to hit just yet. Orion K. It's the AC-10, right? Good to go. Uh, I think you could probably go up top, though. Going full throttle. Uh, I think we put the Zoria and the... Um, Wait, what are you... Oh, I thought this was a, a targeting arc. I'm like, what are you targeting down here? <laughs> Who's down there already? Wow, really? That's that, that bad, huh? 39, I'll take that shot. Yeah, we'll move the Cloudbuster up here too, I think. But the other vehicles will go down below. Jagermeister. AC fives, AC twos. I hate these guys. I don't care whether you like them or hate them. Move into position. You gotta respect them, because if you don't, we die. Um, yeah, we'll leave the Thunderbolt off, obviously. Try the rest. Strip a little bit of armor, I guess. 
Orion's going now, I guess. Oh, no, lost rock. Moving into cover, probably a good yes, idea. Um, let's turn you up. Get into here. I don't foresee this battle taking too long. Uh, let's switch to standard ammo. Stay on the Ostrock. Copy that. Nothing, eh? Alright. Negative damage. First time for everything. Usually those ATMs always hit. At least one of them always hits. Ooh, you're gonna come out and play, are ya? Thanks for showing up. I'm your spaniel. Okay, let's get up the hill. Can't shoot this turn, but that's fine. I was hoping we could get a back shot in that Vulcan, but just not fast enough. Club, no. And you. And Brawler configuration. Oh. That's good to hear. Reason why I'm not moving in to take the shot is both of these guys will shoot at him next turn before he'll even get to go, so. I, I want to give them something else to worry about before uh, that guy engages. Sure. You, on the other hand, I don't mind shooting at this guy with. Eh, not a bad chance to hit. Hopefully the Here beacon lands. Go. Nope. It's uh, marked their dropship, though. Okay, who are they going? Vulcan's going first. 22, eh? Alright. He's pretty speedy. You can get down there? Oh, not too far down there. I see. Yeah, see, they are targeting this guy right away, right? So. Commander. Moving into a position where that guy is going to be a target is not a good idea. We'll go. No, we go after this guy. We're going to fire it all. Affirmative. Get some armor stripped. Oh, that's a nice spread of those sensors. No short range missiles remaining. Get both those mechs. Sweetness. Okay, Jager mechs next. Nope. That's, uh. I don't know what they shot, but. Six missiles. ATM 6, maybe? Or. What can I do for you? I don't know what that would be. Let's keep up our pressure on this guy. I'm bringing the both vehicles around here too, by the way. So that this guy's not by himself, but we'll be bringing the vehicles this way. Um, yep, firing. Got it. Oof, really? Yes, Commander. Let's see what our real chance to hit is when we get up here. Yeah, a little better. Let's fire it all. No short range missiles remaining. I hear you. That's right. That's right. Solid blue from here, so we'll take the solid. I think the Ostrock runs a little warm, so let's switch these over to Infernos. Ooh, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Commencing out of strike. See if we can get this guy as fast as possible. I've got multiple weapons with no ammo. That's all right. Ready for orders.
Yeah, he's inside the range. Yeah, if I pull up like that, they're just going to target this area, and they, they got enough firepower to kill it in one turn, so let's just uh, not do that. But we can shoot this guy still in the Fire back by uh, launching them from there. Nice. Scored a critical hit. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Oof, hit two of my mechs. Commander? On my way. Cloudbusters become almost invisible to the enemy because he's not as threatening as the other mechs are. Do I want to try a pinpoint shot in this? Ah, uh, we're not going to take the torso, so let's just fire and get some instability on him. Commander. Get into here. Going to go for a flank around behind these other guys if we can. High explosive, and yep. Confirmed. Solid connection on that one. Okay, and we got. What do you need? Storm. Let's use your armor. Let's get up to here. Get them to shoot for you. Yep, Thunderbolt pack on. Um, let's go FTL and fire. Firing on target. Ooh! <laughs> See ya. Follow the leader for the win on that one. Holy shit. They went right to the uh, right torso and went right through the armor and killed him. That's where he had the two tons of uh, AC-10 ammo. So, uh, he just paid for it. Three large lasers, eh? It's a nice loadout. Not so good for a 60-tonner, but... And now he's baking. Hey. Hey. Want to eat an Ostrock for breakfast? Oh, uh, you can't get to him. Uh, okay, well. Get to here, though. I'm not risking this thing now, not in this battle. Awaiting orders. Uh, not the Vulcan. Jaeger. Confirmed. Jaegermeister. Is your target. The Vulcan's gonna take the uh, assault from behind, so. Affirmative. Okay, I think we got his arm exposed there. Yeah. Wow, the arms have like no armor on them. Oof, really? And here comes the, the uh, vomit. You're gonna pay for that though, buddy. Orders. This bitch is all yours, man. He's all yours. Here it comes. On your pace. Reporting critical hit. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Alright, they don't got much left then. What is that guy? I don't know, but it seems like it's actually half decent mech. Ghost. All right. Well, what can I do for you? I take it back. Uh, sure. Let's go after him. He's got the range on us, though, so we'll see what happens. This Jagermax is going to go down hard. At least he's keeping himself cool. The ACs don't put out much heat. Commander. Okay. 
think we're inside the uh, missile range. We are. Not for the clan launcher though, but it's fine. Let's leave that off. But we'll fire the rest at this guy. Locked on. Target. Yeah, we missed with the uh, LRM-15, but it's fine. Solid connection on that one. Waiting for orders. Let's uh, give it to him then. Down. Wanna play the back game? That's what happens to you. I'm here. If you say so. Let's see what we get a chance here. Chance to hit. Should be a little higher, I think. Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh you missed, damn it. But that hurt. Uh, I guess we can't have everything. Hey. Waiting for orders. Going full throttle. There we go. That's a pretty good chance to hit. Gotcha. At least somebody else is on the receiving end of the ATMs. Yeah, really, eh? All right, let's get into here. I guess that guy's at is way out of our range. It's a lot farther back than I thought he was. Oof! That there goes the arm. Good. Nothing in it, but there it goes. Waiting for orders. Got it. Yeah, we're overheating like crazy here. All right, who's up? TF. Get around to here. Drop some heat. It's going to be our fast mech that I think can pull this guy down. He's got a pair, pair of PPCs. I don't know if he's got any kind of stealth systems, though. Ooh, that's a nice hit. I hear you. Pedal to the metal. We're coming for you. Standing by. Well, that guy's got the option to, to uh, leave too, right? So if we don't kill him, he Rock might run. Taking this shot. Leave these off. Tiger's on. Take that. I'm not minding the Wolverine yeah, loadout. But we gotta get a better targeting computer on there for sure. I'd like to find the targeting computer Mark II. It's like the, I think that one's got 840 meters distance. Nothing. Primary target is taking damage. Ah, nice. Finally. Fuck you! Come on, mech warriors! It's go time! Lost two large lasers. I probably should have moved, but it's a good way to try and kill that guy. I live to serve. Yeah, just stay on this guy, see if we can finish him. See how you handle this. There goes the leg and the torso. Two or three. One or three. Aye, aye. All right, now you. Ah, uh, not much else I can do, maneuver-wise. Going full throttle. Uh, wow, well, this guy's not in good shape. Um, let's switch this back to Artemis. A little better chance to hit. Locked. On we run. There we go. Target eliminated. 
Good to go. It was an old piece of junk. What did you expect? Stay Got hidden. Get in the trees Don't in case shoot. he decides to move. That's a pretty good position there. Come on, buddy. Still got a shot at us. All right. You know what? Hey. Thanks for showing up. Oh, he missed with the two. Damn it. I thought for sure I was going to hit with one of those. All right, how are we going to get to you? This way, probably. This way, probably. Are you in jamming range? You're not. You are not. You are a hell of a lot farther away than I thought you were. Who's up? Killjoy. Moving to position. Just shoot this guy. Just shoot this guy for me, will you? Come on, bail out. Orders. Just bail out already. Ooh, we got the chance to shoot that guy. Got the chance to shoot that guy. Nothing. That's all right. Oh man. Oh man. What's up, boss? Can't be bothered waiting for you. Going We're going after me. this guy. I might give him the Ultra 20 though. This is the guy we want to go after. Engaging target. All right, we've got one on. Orders. I want to try and scare him out from where he is. Because if we can scare him out, get him out of the trees, might give us a better chance to hit. I don't know where his evac is either, so... Alright. Forest is on fire. Good to go. There we go. Double time. Let's go. What's up, yo? I copy. Scored a critical hit. Come on, bail out. That's a weird ass looking mech. All right. I'm here. Yeah, let's let's use you against him. <laughs> See ya. Ah oh, man. I thought about moving him towards the ghost, but then I'm like, yeah, the ghost is like got stealth uh -huh. systems and stuff, and the Ultra 20 is gonna have a really low chance to hit, and I want to watch you blow stuff up. So let's just blow this guy up while we can. All right, we're gonna fire all this stuff. Put the beacon on. Nope. Targeting that guy's dropship, though. It's incoming. Commander. Go like this. Go. That way he can't get around behind us. Of course, now that I say that, it puts our back to where our guys are, but we'll see. On. All right, tag's on. It's going to help out. By. Well, speed sounds good. Uh huh. Drop our heat. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, Griff. On this guy. Um. Let's go for damage. Uh -huh. 
I don't think he overheats. Receiving you. So I think going for um, trying to heat him up is not the right way to go. Copy that. Uh, let's see what we can get with HE. On it. Standing by. All right, no. don't shoot your own guy. Just kiss this guy. All right, missed him. Just want to push him into what unstable. The what? Oh, what the what? Oh, no. You're not shooting the damn thing. But you can move into the trees up here. Oh, right. I think the ultra's jammed anyway. It's jammed, yeah. A lot of stuff's jammed. Okay, it's unjammed. I was just gonna say. Yeah. Didn't know if it became unjammed or not. All right, this will be all Artemis. Um, yeah. Firing. Come on. Ah, damn it. You just need to push him into unstable. Romilo's still got to go yet, so we'll see what this guy does, and then she can get on him. How are we doing here, though? I'm shocked he's not wanting to bug out yet, though. Well, you did shoot for the Cloud Buster. Okay. Good to go. Yeah, let's get him in close range. Yeah, fire it all. Firing everything I've got. Oh yeah, nice nice hits. Narc attached. All out of short range missiles, Commander. What's up, boss? Alright, let's get some evasion. Let's get some evasion when we shoot at him. Let's see how you like this. Come on, bail out. Our target is bugging out. Stop he ain't going anywhere. He ain't going anywhere. We ain't found shit. Alright, uh yep. Firing on target. Where do you think you might be going? Scored a critical hit. Awaiting orders. Wait, where does he need to bail out to? Oh, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. Ah, uh, let's just move up. Go into full throttle. What can I do for you? He ain't going anywhere. All right, Griff, see what you can do here. No shooting. I don't know if he's got jump jets or not. He might be able to jump down. Boom. There's the leg. When I now, I don't think we got the torso. Yeah, we didn't. So he's got one HP left. You don't even need to move. Let's go for the leg. I don't mind heating up. Uh -huh. Nah, the right torso. Whatever. Did you see that? I did. Mission successful. All right. Well, eight hundred thousand. That's not bad. I'm more interested if we won the the overall fight for the planet, though. Man, our vehicles are just doing so well. Well, they got two of the kills. Two out of five. It's pretty good. All right, let's see here. So there's the Orion part we need. I'm going to throw it in there. So now we can make another Orion. Jagermech part. That's what, four ballistic and two laser? I don't know. Let's see what's down here first. Light PPC, MML3, no. Com suite. That's a possibility because we don't have very many, um, any, very many cockpits. 
I'm going to toss it there for now. Tracker sensors, yes, thank you. LK and incendiary LRM ammo. We have incendiary. Don't have LK, but we don't really have any LRMs to really attach it to, though. Hmm, Beagle Probe maybe? No, let's go up here. Let's grab uh, the Agarmech part. There's not a lot here, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll go with this. Alright, we got a Ghost part, Ostrock part, a couple of AC2s. We've already got two of them. Uh, you know, I'm going to hang on to it. AC5, hold on to it. Flamer, we'll hold on to. Light PPC, we'll hold on to. LRM15, got three, we can sell that one. Two medium lasers, we have nine that can go. Beagle Pro, we've got one, but we'll hold on to that as a backup case too. We keep. Fire control system improved. You know, we got lots of fire control systems, so let's just sell that. Sell those, can sell this, and sell that. Multi track, eh? That's a possibility. All right. All right, 44,000. That should, I think, bring this battle to a close, though. Finally. Right? It says there's another notification. What? Really? Really? Come on, it was like three and two. Yeah, minus three. It should be done. Let's just advance the timeline a day here and make sure. I'm pretty sure that that's the battle. We won the battle. I'm actually shocked because I, I remember... Like, I recorded the last three episodes back to back, but then it was like a, over a week before that that I recorded the episode, like the last episode before that. And I think we were losing, and I was fully expecting to lose this battle. But let's go a day here. That should be it, right? Yeah, we've taken control of Quarrel. Nice. Withdraws the force, forces with haste. Nice. All right, let's see what we get for, uh, hopefully it's something good. That was, a, that was a tough fight, though. Double heat sink kit. Okay, pretty cool. One part of a rhino. All right. Sure. Swarm ammo. 135 core. Some jump jets. AC-10 ammo and a mortar 8. Well, we didn't... We've got two mortar 8s now. All we need is ammo. Okay, so, I mean... I mean, it's free stuff, so it's not, I can't complain, but... I guess it's all right. A little... I mean, I don't know. A little disappointing, but still... Free stuff. We made like a crap, ton, a crap tons and millions of sea bills off those missions. So we're gonna spend just a little under half of that to get the Orion up and running. Actually, I think we've got another Orion we can bring forward now. Let's have a quick look here. So let's go to storage because maybe we. I don't know. I'm gonna have a look at this other one. So we've got. Yeah, we could put the MB together. Two ballistic. Two laser, two missile. So LBX is torso mounted, not arm mounted. So it's probably arm and torso mounted ballistic, arm and torso mounted missile, and then two arm mounted laser. Hmm. Let's assemble it. We got the money. If it ends up being garbage, we can always just trash it, but let's see. Let's just see what we can get out of this. Might have the light goss rifle still. Come on. There you go. Alright, let's have a look at this thing. Doesn't look like there's a lot. Yeah, damn it. Hmm, maybe if it's ballistic each arm, it would be nice. The light Gauss rifle survived, though, with with the Gauss ammo. Actually, we got a half-decent amount of stuff off that. I mean, it, it got cored. But the light Gauss came back. Case, the SRM-4. Uh, we got narc ammo, but... All right, well, sure, I guess. It's a 75-tonner. I mean, we, I can figure out what to do with it. It's only 653,000. All right, so I'm going to put that together. 
Do we have HVAC 20 ammo? Uh, it would be up here, right? We do. We got two tons. How many rounds is that? Eight shots. Hmm. So we got some Ultra Autocan 10 ammo. Got regular AC 10 ammo with incendiaries. Oh, it's two ballistic in the same torso. Damn it. I remember the old um, Orion, which had ballistic in each arm. I don't know which version it was, but it was several, like, it was last year when I when I ran it. I think it was, was it, I think it was there in the Night Witches, and it had, uh, we put a um, rack five in each arm. I was really hoping to re re relive that and, and recreate it, but I don't think we can do that. Too ballistic in this torso. I don't know. I don't know what we would go with. We don't have any LBX 10 ammo. I mean, the light gauss rifle is not bad. We could round it out with some longer range weapons and use this as a long range platform. You know? Yeah, let me think about it. I mean, for that matter, rather than going with the like the like light goss on this one, this could be one of the this could be the uh, the arrow system. You know, we use this as the artillery mech. Although it makes more sense because this thing has better air targeting. I wonder though, we could build two Orions, each one with a Thunderbolt twenty in the arm. And then put the arrow system onto the Holopolis. Like, that's not a bad... How much mortar ammo do we have? Not a lot, I don't think. We got a little bit of fast cam, half a ton, half a ton of flare. That's it. Ooh, I'm interested to see what you guys think about this. Like, rather than doing that, I mean, we could... If I can buy some mortar ammo, it's actually relatively... I, I can I find it relatively frequently in stores. Like, so rather than going... Like, we could put this as an indirect with a pair of mortar eights. I mean, we'd still... I, I, I'd have to figure out the engine and everything on it. Like, it doesn't need to be fast. Minimum 250, though, so we don't have to add heat sinks. Right? Ballistic accuracy. Right? Uh, I'll be up here. And then probably um, that. We have to leave room for ammo. We could add the Pharaoh. Or for that matter, we could even add the Chameleon and they wouldn't be able to see it. It would just be nuking them from a distance. Then I wouldn't have to worry about armor so much. You could just stand back and just drop shit on them for forever. You know? We wouldn't be able to put a big LRM. Unless we could get a clan LRM. We wouldn't be able to run an LRM on this thing. We have an ATM-9 though. What's the weight on this? Five tons. That's actually pretty light. Although the Thunderbolt 10 is six tons. But that's more pinpoint. If we had if we had um, high explosive ammo for that, we don't have any ammo for that. We got the dead quick cell dead fire because we're running it on the other our other mech. Man, we got the height. We got the we got we got good stuff for the 15, but we don't have a 15. I'll keep my eye open for it in the store, but I don't mean, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Like, we could go Thunderbolt 10. I still want to, I gotta, I gotta find a good thing for an MRM, but we're gonna need ammo for it, though. That's a problem, right? I mean, or we could, we could go with, um... Like, a little versatility. Like, maybe we run... Like, so rather than going with crazy, uh, like, extra LRMs, we run, like, I mean, we don't have the ammo right now, but 
if we had like LRMs with like you know EMP ammo or we got some stuff here we got swarm swarm or if we could get the uh, LRM narc ammo we could run with some smaller LRMs just to help us to hit at long range then a couple of lasers just as backup weapons or we could go all in with missiles like I said and try and add another LRM system to add a little extra damage at range but I find unless you're adding like a ton of LRM yeah we're not going to have any weight for ammo then like unless you have a like tons of LRMs then it's just not doing enough damage to be really warranted unless you have versatile ammo that can like or you're adding heat or EMP or narc getting giving your teammates a better chance to hit you know cooling is easy on this thing it's slow as hell too right so yeah I don't know let me know what you think in the comments I'm not gonna build this guy or the other Orion until after you guys see this I'll, I'll probably be jumping systems and getting stuff ready to go uh, with these guys before that uh, I'll leave the core off for now and all this stuff but let me know what you think in the comment section what we should do with both of these mechs because we've got the sea bills and we've got some time so I could outfit them both I mean we've only got one clan XL engine so only one of the two mechs would be able to run it I'm thinking it's going to be the other one because we have more hard points in the arms which can take advantage of better chance to hit I don't know. I just don't know. What's their range on the, t the Thunderbolt 20s? It's like 840 meters, I think. Eight hundred and forty meters. The arrow's like three thousand, I think, or something, right? Yeah, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, we could run an arrow and a mortar eight, mortar eight on this guy, and he would just stand back at a distance, right? We'll put the chameleon system on it, not the thunderbolt. Uh, where are you here, the arrow? You know, stand back at a distance and just nuke people from a distance. It doesn't need to be fast. You put the chameleon system on it, it just stays hidden. What's the range of the mortars, though? It's only like 800 and something, isn't it? 840. So it would have to close a little bit. I mean, it would totally be nice if we had to wait enough to be able to do that. Like, I don't even know how we would make that work. You'd have to get the Clan XL engine in there. It would probably have to be Heavy Pharaoh, but we won't have any room for ammo. Because we need to, like, you're going to need a shit ton of ammo for this, right? So, oh wait, no, we'd have to, we're going to go with the Chameleon on this. We don't have any, I, I can't believe we don't have any friggin' Endo Steel. It's not surprising though, it's typical for me. Yeah, we haven't even got the engine in there yet, and it's like we have to go minimum of that. So yeah, we don't we only have four tons of ammo, no, it's not gonna work. Even with endo and a good gyro and a a a, a gyro reducing the uh weight, we'd still be like we would be way under uh under under ton for ammo. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comment section down below what you think we should do with these guys. Um, until then, I'm just going to get this guy repaired. Might as well validate it. And we could run with the Holopolis, the Marauder, two Orions. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Um, as one Lance. Uh, I don't know. We got the Archer too, right? Like we could run a super heavy Lance of maybe like five and then we move the wolverine up here you know so these guys would be down in this lance would be a lance of five plus the vehicles and then this would be another lance of five plus the vehicles and see how that goes but let me know what you think i'm going to end this episode here i hope you enjoyed it if you did if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and you can drop your comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see y'all later